What's poppin' is Enzo McFly. It's your girl, your car keys, I am. She what it do, man. This your boy, E.S.G. What's up, what's up? It's your girl, Angry Hero. It's your boy, Mikey Iso. What's up? It's your girl, Desiree Simone. And we K22 Radio, man. I know what's going down. The biggest blood in America. Hey, man, you already know who it is. DJ Me What's going on, man? It's comedian Jeff Shelley. What's good, Words? Show me DJ Charles. Say, man, it's Wapping Puerto Rico, man. Ah, baby boy. Baby girl. It's your girl, Beat Simona with Catch-22. What's up, Houston? It's your boy, Quay. I just wrapped a dope-ass interview with Catch-22. Yo, what up? It's your girl, Comedian Shannon. I'm rocking with Catch-22 on 92 Kills, Houston, Texas. Make sure y'all tune in. It's been collaborative. It's been great, y'all. I love y'all. I'm on the Beat Simone tour. Make sure y'all follow me. Everything Comedian Shannon. We in the building. We selling our shows. Make sure y'all don't miss it. It's going to be great. Don't miss the next one, I'm telling you. Comedian Shannon, 92 Kills, Catch-22. Let's go. You're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 radio show on 92kills.com. Can't do nothing for you. Oh, nothing. No. Uh, these ain't loyal. No, they ain't. That's like the, uh, that's the right theme song. That's what y'all gonna be singing if Jesus smash y'all chicken. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, I'm just gonna say Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. <laughs> My girl. <laughs> Jesus, I'ma need her back. <laughs> I kill her. I kill her dead. <laughs> he gonna bring her back. <laughs> All right, y'all. We got a special guest in the video. Y'all behave, okay? Yes, yes. No, no, I'm not behaving. She, no. No, don't behave. I don't want y'all to behave. You up. sure? Let's turn up. You sure? You said it, though. All right, so Shannon in here with this Lion King shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. Are we roasting, Taylor? <laughs> you got the 13 ghost glasses on. You feel me? All right. <laughs> you feel me? Let's do it, Shannon. Show her you're a professional. Show Shannon, you're a professional. I'm a professional, too. Are we'll we talk. <laughs> we'll talk. Text we'll me, talk. text me. Hey, Shannon. How you doing? You're not going to come to my house and treat me like this. You don't want to talk about my shirt. I like your shirt. I asked about I like the Lion King. King. I like it is like, boom, it's there. He the one that brought it up. But I swear to God, I didn't see that shirt. <laughs> so you was looking at my titties? No, 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 no. You was looking at my titties? Uh-uh. Okay. Your fiance, yeah. He got a coat hat on. He don't, don't mind. No, 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 no. He don't mind. He say, y'all can look long. Let me finish saying what I was saying about him. He say, hey, cuz. No, it wasn't just that. He got on the coach, and we just got beat by them today. Man. They beat us up, so I don't want no We problems. towed him up. I got we, the, I got the up. Too? Yeah, I just took it off in the car. It's okay. Oh, Whoa. And they got the blue on for real, for real. For real, for real. Lipstick and all. Hey, cuz. Let me tell you something, cuz. <laughs> that way he walked in here like, you better stop looking at her titties, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he don't mind. As long as y'all get him something he can look at. You feel me? He don't mind. Well, Bring y'all wives out so my man can look at them. Okay. Uh, no. Right, <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I think he said no. no. <laughs> so what's going on with you, Shannon? Man, your girl comedian Shannon in the building. You know what I'm saying the coach just won that game. Let's not let's not. Let's not do like that. That's not why you here. Okay, that's definitely not why you here. Okay, but I was there. I was there. Oh, you was at the game. I was there. Oh. Yeah. So I'm like the 13th seat. Hmm. No, nothing. What you said? What you said? You look like I got these headphones on. <laughs> Let me move this one to off my right ear. What you said now? Come again. Please yeah, come again. Congratulations, bro. Good win, bro. Thank you. We appreciate that, love. So, uh, Comedian Shannon, why do you call yourself Shannon the Comedian? I don't call myself Shannon the Comedian. I call myself Comedian Shannon. That's why I said, why don't you? It just sounds... I don't know. I mean, funny. that's a lot to type on your page. You feel me? It's mm. <laughs> a lot to type? Yeah. I like to type, though. I type for a living. You do? Mm -hmm. I thought you did this for a living. Mm. <laughs> I do this sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you get your started to this comedy thing, man? It's not like I just got started into it. I got thrown into it. We went to an amateur night one night. This was years ago. I've been doing comedy about five years. Really? Yeah. So we was at an amateur night. I like live bands and stuff like that. So my friends put my name on the list for comedy and just so happened I write daily. I always have some on my phone anyway. Went up there, killed it. You know, then they asked me to come back. Start featuring every first Monday of the month, and then that's when I build my fan base. So oh. I was literally eating chicken wings. I was like, next, coming to the stage, comedian Shannon. I'm just sitting there clapping, like, that <laughs> <laughs> was like, you, ma'am, you. I was like, what? <laughs> Who put my name on the list? I was like, I'm gonna kill my friends. They always hide in their face. Like, I was like, I'm gonna beat y'all up outside. I swear to God. So now you're on a tour with B. Simone. I am. How did that end up happening? How did that connection I happen? mean, you know, it's just a connection, you know? It's, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Right. So, you know, right place, right time. You know, if this guy's will, it's gonna be. 
So right. she good people. You know, she from the D. I used to live in the D. We actually, believe it or not, me and B. Simone used to work in the same mall, in Townies Mall. She worked at Aldo, and I worked at Verizon. You I'm feel glad me? y'all made it out alive. <laughs> we did. You feel me? It's we like did. Plaza de America. Yeah, it's scary. Uh, we did. That's a scary mall. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's crazy. Now you just did a show last night. I did. Yeah, I did more than one show. We did oh, three, three shows. Three shows. Three. Seven, ten, and three. Twelve. One, yeah. two, three. You feel me? And I was supposed to come, but what, what happened? happened was these guys. If you didn't have a booty call, what happened? No, the booty was there with us. It was there. <laughs> <laughs> they were there with us. They had to call. It was just there. You know. Okay. So, was, but it was, so why you didn't show up? I bought the tickets. And then. Um. So, um, you the missed show great last shows. night. You missed them. <laughs> that was great. The, the show last night, how was it? It was amazing, man. We sold out. It was pack to pack. I mean, from door to, from the door to the window, we were sold out. Trade the Truth came in. You know what I'm saying? We had a, Chico Bean showed up. We had a lot of people show up. It was live. It's always That's a blessing lit. come true. So, you know what I'm saying? as far as comedy, what would you say is your biggest hurdle as a, as a comedian? What's my biggest hurdle? Mm -hmm. I don't really, like, challenge myself as having biggest hurdles. Like, anything I feel like I can do, I just go for it. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But overall, I just keep God first. I pray for it. You know, Jesus was on my couch, so we Gucci. You said Jesus was on your couch. He was. Mm. So, so Jesus got his smash chicks <laughs> is what we've been talking about. <laughs> so why was he just sitting on your couch? Believe it or not, I wish I could show y'all. For real, for real. I was going through a lot at one point. Single mom, had $2 to my name, and I asked God to show me a sign. No lie, this is Sunday, okay? Uh -huh. Right hand to God. I knew it. Literally. But no, if you that lie Monday through Saturday, you can lie on Sunday. <laughs> 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 but seriously, though, literally, like, he revealed his face on my couch. Like, I showed my pastor. He was like, can I be you for, like, two weeks? You got an anointing on you, baby. Mm. And he was right. <laughs> So oh, yeah, I'll show y'all the picture after the show. You got a picture of Jesus on your couch? I got a picture. No, no lie. Jesus. On my you couch. You don't have to show us now because you're on live. It's you okay. I do need to see Jesus on this I couch. I definitely yeah. need to see Jesus. It I better not be Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> 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 it better not be Jesus. I can't make this up, bro. I you promise. You told his name? <laughs> How you knew it was him? I'm telling you. I sent this to my pastor. He was like, that's him. It's, the image, it's the image that we know. You your feel pastor wear uh, Crown World kites? No. You saying that? I didn't you see must that. Have seen that. I didn't oh. see that. Like, I wanted... You didn't see him taking off the cursed panties. Of the, uh... I seen the pastor that was flying in the ceiling, y'all. Oh, yeah. He that loud. was too much. I want to do that. That ain't my pastor, lie. though. You Why? Know. Your pastor can't fly in like that? No, nah, that look like a Chris Brown show. Come on now. That's, I like it. They're supposed it's supposed to be entertaining, entertaining. that though. Now, what if he would have fell on somebody? That Jesus even had more entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus took <laughs> 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 That's exactly what happened. Ah. Y'all stupid. You do com uh, comedy and everything. You know, you're doing these shows. You out here. You working. I see you working. doing your thing, girl. I'm, I'm working a lot, yo. I work. A, I actually work a nine to five. I deliver babies during the day. I'm actually in people's vaginas all morning. You that's feel what me? I'm talking about. Bro, and then wild. after I get home and get the vagina smell off me, I go home. I cook a full course meal for that beautiful man right there and my children. And then I get to this comedy game. So I make sure I the house taken right. care of before I hit the dough. That's a beautiful. Thing. But if you love what you do, it ain't work. Cause you know that yeah. vagina thing all day sound like it's a most definitely. Thing. Yeah, so do you crack jokes like why you in there? Where it worked? Yeah. Oh yeah, all day. Look at my hair. I'm like the only nurse with this loud color hair. Like seriously, my doctors love it. So yeah, I crack jokes all the time. So you see some weird vaginas too. Right? Man, all kinds. Yeah. I don't even look at my own. I just take a shower with my my head standing up. I just don't even look at it. I just be like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired of looking at vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> now you do all of these things, you know, like you said, and I'm sure you're gonna need like some backup. Uh backup so, what? Oh, you gonna let me talk. <laughs> uh, we have a group. Me and this guy. Okay. Okay. Uh name of this group is Thick and Nasty. Okay. I guess um, I fit in. Okay. I mm. like that reaction. It yeah. wasn't like who's thick, who's nasty. Yeah. When they're I'm not both. like her. I'm I both. Like her. Yeah, exactly. We both, right? Right. So, um, Drew, kind of tell her what thick and nasty is all about. All right. So, since you're a comedian, you know, we funny too. So, we what we do is what we call background comedy. Now, you got your uh -huh. own jokes. Um, uh -huh. I got my own jokes, but okay. we're going to be telling them at the same time. The but they're going to end with the same punchline yeah. or premise that you have. What you Yo. think? You think that works? No. Nope. sound up. See? 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 Oh. High five. I'm down. Thick and nasty. Let's go. Yep. Brian hating. No, that's our manager. How our manager hating on us? You know what I'm nah, saying? No, you got to believe in a dream. You feel me? It's I a lot of dumb shit out there it. that work. You feel <laughs> me? I just want to see it work. I want to see that work. That sound live to me. Let's, Let's do it. We're going to make it work, Tay. Bet. Yeah. You on tour right now, you know. You do skits. 
you do all of that stuff. <laughs> I, I like it. So how Thank important you, do you think that the social media plays in your career right now? I mean, you know, that's the world right now. So that's very important. That's 100%, seriously. So when you got them followers, you up there. That's all that matter. You know what I'm saying? You got to support the fans. The easy part about it is nowadays, you ain't really got to go knock on Motown dough. Like, you know what I'm saying? You posted it, it comes to you. Right. Okay, so being a, a female comedian, you know, how much harder do you think it is for you to break than a male comedian? I don't feel like it's hard for me at all because right now it's not that many female, you know, comedians. So it's not much competition. And it damn sure ain't no female comedians out here with sex appeal. You feel me? So y'all going to be in love with me. I swear to God, I'm killing the stage every time. I like Booty cheeks and all. I like Jess, though. She dope. Yeah. She, she has dope. sex appeal. I like your line shirt. I keep looking at it. Well, stop it looking at my titties. Serious. You really trying to look at these 36 no, Bs. Stop playing with me. No, I'm not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bro, but see, see, the thing is, say. it's like you wanted somebody <laughs> to look at them because you got the shimmery right there. I like, I like shimmery, got, though. Got, 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 going. <laughs> my bra look like that, too. My bra look like that underneath it. I like shimmery stuff. I like the glow. You feel me? Hmm. So, yeah, that's I, my thing. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, that's the first time y'all been stuck. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's both of y'all. Like, hmm. It wasn't. Uh, uh, and then I, I looked over at Ray, and Ray's like, <laughs> <laughs> so I was, I was lost. Cause Ray said his bra looked the same. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Now, what comedians do you want to work with in this industry? Well, I look up to, and I feel like I'm more like her, but some more, man, that's my girl, y'all. Like, I'm raw like her. I make sure my shoe game on point like her. Like, I really, really love some more, so definitely her. Like, that's my main objective. Mm-hmm. I've already met Kevin Hart, you know what I'm saying, Will Ferrell. Those are my, my top two men, you feel me? But some more, girl, please call me, girl. I want to keep my hair short like her, all that. What was it like being Kevin Hart? It was amazing. Like, I met him um, in Miami, actually, and uh, we was just talking about anxiety, you know, and how you get over the whole anxiety feel backstage before you go out there. And he said, as long as you have that, then you still have passion for it and you're not above it, so that's good. Keep that. He was like, I still get that. So what do you do to get rid of your anxiety? <laughs> Twerk. Twerk. I know that's right. <laughs> Twerk, Floor Mayweather, that thing in the backstage, you know what I'm saying? Well, get it out. Flo- oh. You know, you got to hit a little couple of little jabs in the air, you feel me? Get it out. Breathe in. Backstage shadow boxing. Yep. <laughs> and twerking, you feel me? Mm. I, I like to twerk. I wake up twerking. I think I twerk in my sleep. That's why know. you get married. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fun. <laughs> That's why he wait 10 years to marry. Yeah. Like, okay, yeah, she yeah, I like this. It's that, and I sleep with my legs open, so he just oh, roll on. No, oh, that's Jesus. right. Oh. You are. <laughs> that's what, look, okay, let's go to a mix real quick. <laughs> and then when we come back, we're going to have more with comedian Shannon. All it's right. It's Radio Show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, oh, what the f- no. Love go. Five, four, three, two. I let one go. Work. I hate that song. Work. Work. Are we on? Work. We can't be on. We're still not. Oh, we can't be on. Oh, there you go. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm y'all. just so sick of this. Sick of this. I'm sick of this. I'm going to have to find some people after this show. I'm just sick of this, though. All right, we back with comedian Shannon in the <laughs> Yeah, we in this thing. Now, Shannon, when we were off air, we were talking about marriage, right? So we just had a conversation uh, before you walk in. And we said, what is the time frame for you to get married? Like, what is the time frame for dating to get married? Because you on your way to marriage. Yeah, when we got together, though, you know, I kind of be honest. Like, I be up front. So I say about two years, you need to buy a ring on your finger. Two years? At least two years, you need a ring. That is, that is fast. Bro, she said at least. She said at least two years. At least two years. To at least get a ring or at least have a plan in place, you feel me? Because I can't waste no more than two years with you if I don't know for sure you're trying to go to the next level. So if we go like two years in a week, you like, you go. Like, you need to be talking about it or something. We need to be pillow talking about it, you feel me? Something. But what if I ain't ready? What if you ain't ready? Yeah. That's the thing. You got to be honest up front. When I met him, I told him I got two kids. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to do. You feel mm-hmm. me? So either right. you can get on this roller coaster with me, or we could just make arrangements to do something but else. But me, me at 26 is ready, and me at 28 ain't ready. Yeah, see, we older. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. You feel me? No, at 26, I wasn't ready. But it's crazy, though. I got married at 19, believe it or not. This be my second married marriage. You did? I had my son at 20. Mm-hmm. And then he cheated, and I stabbed him, and I went to jail, and I got out and beat the girl up twice. You feel me? But it's How been a sponge on my record. It's been a sponge on my record. No, 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 speed pass it. How <laughs> long? Like you didn't just say <laughs> that. <laughs> I you just didn't say that you was in jail. You was incarcerated. How long yeah. you been in jail? Two months. That ain't a long time. That is a oh, long time. a long time for my light skin ass. I don't give a damn. I was at the phone, and I was like, Grandpa, you got to get me out of here. Please bail me out, Papa. Please, Papa, please. 
I'm going to come clean the windows, please. <laughs> so being a comedian, what do you feel like is more important, the stand-up or doing the skits on Instagram? Both. It ain't, it's both. I mean, you got to stay talented all around. You got to cover every end of the, of the square, you feel me, every corner. So both. So, uh, you know, once again, we was talking off air, and we was talking about, like, how compatible you and your mate was. Um, like, all y'all stuff was linking up a little bit, too. So, which one of y'all daddies, like, cheated? <laughs> like y'all, <laughs> Like, y'all low-key, like, Project Twins. Y'all just don't know it. Negative, we not. <laughs> y'all, it's y'all, just destined y'all. to be. When you find that love, it's destined to be. You'll feel it. You'll know it. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, your kids got the same name. Y'all yep. put up two Christmas trees. Because it's his birthday. Both skin. Y'all Colts fans. Yep. We That's met 4th of July, you know what I'm saying? His daughter named Aubrey, my daughter named Aubrey. Uh-huh. And then his Aubrey birthday, August 2nd, my son's birthday, August 3rd, one day apart. So we was doing it at the same time, didn't even know each other, you feel me? But he came first because his baby was born on the 2nd. No, that's not what it meant. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not. That's, that's not, what it meant. That's not, that's not what that meant at all. That's uh, what it meant. Okay. So y'all have kids together? No, we don't. We have a dog together named Paris. Are y'all planning to have children? No. My tools are tied, clipped, and burnt. Is it? Uh, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading this article, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can still get pregnant, I heard. Well, you said Jesus on your couch. Everything is possible. Anything it's is possible. possible. But what Jesus told you on his couch? My tools. Are, he didn't talk to me. He just showed me. But uh, my tools are tied, clipped, and burnt. I'm done. I told y'all to deliver babies. Like, I'm good. I, I like watching my patients be pregnant. But I'm real selfish. Like, I can't be sober that long. That's too long. I still mm. got questions about Jesus being like on your couch. You do? What's your question, bro? What do you sh- like? How did he show you? I just gotta show you. It's just a picture. He just revealed his face, like really, for he real. Just sitting there. Watch when I show you, you gonna get chills. You was eating like cereal. And you seen Jesus face in the no, bowl? No, I just I, at that time, like I said, I was going through a lot. I took a lot of pictures of my kids that day because okay. I finally was able to buy my son some polo. You feel me? Yeah. Mm. So I took a lot of pictures. I was like, boy, pose right here. Do that. And I said it is my screensaver. Woke up the next morning, looked at my phone, and my vision zoomed right into it. I wow. went through every photo that, that I took that day. No, nah, I don't be on. I that believe day. that. I got a natural high. No, I really do believe that because yeah. one day, I'm not going to lie, I took some Ambien. <laughs> and man, come on, man. It was this, <laughs> it was this monster, right? <laughs> he was real tall. He had no face. He scared me. But I feel well, like it was Jesus, a sign. Though, we monsters, no, I don't think he was a monster. I think it was a sign. He didn't try to hurt me. Okay. Did he you pray? Pe- uh-huh. Afterwards? Okay. As uh-huh. long as you pray in detail, you good. Oh, I yeah. think everybody pray in detail what you want. Like, Definitely. Definitely. I pray for him all the way down to the way his breast smell daily. You feel me? I was like, Lord, please let his breast smell good. Okay. Ooh. His breast smell good? Hell yeah. Smell like water? All the time? Yes, all the time, for real. I broke up with a dude one time because his pillow stink. That you petty? No, that's, that's real. No, stuff. I'm not. I roll that's over and smell that. That is wrong. It's over. I'm going to fight you. Right. You I don't like my covers pillow. like that. I like to put my covers over my face sometimes. I don't yeah. even smell that. That's gross. Please don't get in my bed with a stanky. Nothing. Nothing. So right. What, in all caps. So they wake up with good smelling breath. He do. No. Like, I don't know what he's supposed to go to sleep. Shaughnessy breath. That's love. <laughs> <laughs> that's love. Dude, look, she ain't speaking about nothing but love. That ain't got nothing. His breath smells like everybody breath in the morning. You just love him. I do with love. I love love be gone real. in the morning. <laughs> now, speaking of love, now, being a comedian in the industry and you do have a significant other, is it hard to balance that relationship? It's uh, not hard because we got to understand it. And, you know, my husband drives trucks, so he's always on the road. So we're already used to being separated. Okay. okay. So as far as me being on the road, it's not a big deal. You know, we just meet at the end of the day. How much money you got? How much money you got? We make some bets and hey, platters okay. on the table. You feel me? Okay. Mm. Now I had a question about your um, business card, right? So on your business card, it says you are a comedian, and then it says a porn star, mini porn star, because I got one partner. Okay, what that mean? I just said it. Mini oh yeah, porn no, star, pen, that means that she partner. your porn, she a porn star for him. That's it. Okay, oh, okay. so that's like why it. she was talking about that platter. Y'all gonna yeah. Put- Y'all gonna put it like on Pornhub? You know they paying labor by like 60K. Like we gotta think big about pants. it. We gotta big think about it. It's, big it's gotta be a lot. Look, look, I mean, but look. No face, no case. They, you ain't gotta show your face. <laughs> I watch a lot of people ain't got no faces. Yeah, but them tattoos give you away. You feel me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm tatted tatted like, wait a minute. You're the only up. one with a unicorn <laughs> on her butt. Up. You feel me? <laughs> You're the only one with a unicorn on your butt. That's what I'm saying. But no, I like the fact that y'all y'all have an understanding because with relationships in this industry, it can't get testing and it I mean, can't I'm get telling you. I got a win, though. We made a bet on who can make a million dollars first, and my booty hole on the line. So. Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> explain. Please. No, nah, don't shake your head. No, back up no, 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 no. Explain. Please. What explain. you mean? I can't make this up. We bet on who can make a million dollars first. And he baited my booty hole. It's on the line, y'all. Y'all gotta, y'all can't let him penetrate me, man. I gotta make it, y'all. I need y'all fans. Please support me. Please, so, I need it. Look, Ray is very interested it. in this. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> All we heard was booty hole. What? <laughs> <laughs> so you ain't never did none of your booty hole? Never. You want to? Never. Apparently. He want to? Clearly. He ain't never stuck his thumb in your butt? He be tripping. Nah, he just it actually, you know, grazed one time. It was too wet. It slipped out, and it was over with. I can't do it. Mm-mm. It ain't my cup of tea. All that be wet, boo. It ain't that far apart. Okay. You feel me? No, I understand. I don't understand. <laughs> when it be juicy, it roll down. You feel me? No, I understand. Huh. I get it. Okay. Well. <laughs> so what is he doing to try to get this million? I mean, How bad do he want this booty hole? <laughs> 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 really got to chill, though, because I'm about to win. So booty I don't know how bad he wants it. more important than but water. <laughs> yeah, mm, no, I, I don't believe do you're going to win. Cause uh, you'll you be on you everywhere yeah. right now. Like yeah. you're everywhere. Do you you want to go into television or? Oh yeah, like I'm actually I just finished this movie called Mud Hustle. It should be out by February 2019. Uh, I'm playing this uh, character called Shay. It's a mixture of uh, Star and a uh, Hustle and Flow. So, mm. so like Star the TV show. The TV show. Ooh, so question, show. question real quick. Um, based on like your opinions, do you feel like that you would be like typecasted? Yeah. What you mean by typecasted? Like only to play certain roles. Only to play certain roles. Like you can only play. Certain no, I don't roles think so. Because you know, I'm real light skin. Like I can play a white girl, Mexican. You mm-hmm, feel me? Mm-hmm. All that. I don't think so. I'm, I feel like I'm versatile. And then I also you can't play no Uno dos three. Yeah, she definitely <laughs> can play Cynthia. Uh, yeah, I can't for real. All that ghetto. All that don't matter. Battle I've also uh, played in uh, the Great Debaters with Denzel Washington as well. So oh, wow, that was really dope. That was live. So what do you yeah. smell like? <laughs> I ain't get Cone that close yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He cooled in the fan though His wife can cook For real we was in that You ate her food? Yeah we hung out Like we was, I was in the mix Like I'm there it's That's live Man That's you've been everywhere Yeah Now if you're gonna play A Mexican And you don't know How to speak Spanish We got a Hispanic On the team or something. Okay I do yeah. need to learn though Rosetta, Since I'm here in Houston now, I need to learn Rosetta uh, Thrax <laughs> <laughs> You're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 Radio Show on 92kills.com.